Today we're gonna be making a beat from start to finish in FL Studio. All right, I've really been feeling like guitar type of beats recently, so let's start there. I like that sound, let's start with that. Let's first, let's get the tempo in here. And then figure out these notes. And to start a beat, it can be as simple as that. I always just like to make something simple and catchy, something that I can kind of repeat through the song, but it'll still work. Let's add some more notes to basically build off this uh, progression here. I'm also changing like the velocities here to basically make it sound a little bit less robotic. And let's see if we can like pitch it up or down a little bit just to change the, the mood of it. Now, for me, I always love adding a lot of depth to my beats. So what I wanna do is I wanna basically figure out some more sounds and some more layers to add over top of this beat. Let's see, maybe we can add like a, a type of like a choir sound or something. add a little bit of effects on that too a little bit of reverb maybe kind of filter out the highs a little bit make it a little bit like in the background and maybe add some like panning to it I actually want to add another melody on top of this I think it has to be like a little bit more like catchy so I don't know I'm gonna see if I can find like a flute melody something to add and just get stuck in people's heads Let's add some effects onto that one too. All right, I like that a lot. Let's um figure out, obviously we need a good bass line. I'm thinking with this, I can turn this into a pretty good trap beat. Um, and I need some like crazy 808 for this. All right, let's figure out. I'm just gonna go off like the low end of the, the, the chords basically. Let's organize this a little bit here. This is kind of the loop that we're going to be making most of the song around. It doesn't have to be like a lot of different stuff going on. I kind of get away with, you know, making a lot of my beats repetitive like this by, you know, adding things and taking things away in certain sections. But for now, let's figure out some drums for this one. Get some hi hats in here. Let's figure out some kicks to go along with this. Maybe add a little bit of variation to like all, I don't know, on the second round in the B section, I might lower that um, flute to a different octave. So it sounds like this, right over here. It's that easy. <laughs> it's that simple. 
so now that we have like 16 bars of this beat, we can figure out how to structure it. I like my intros to start like maybe four bars, kind of be a little simple, but also show like the main part of the beat. So that would be the intro, and then the verse would come in like this. slowly introduce the drum sections create a bit of variation here and then bring back those other ones for the chorus So that'd be the chorus section there. That sounds really nice. And then just duplicate that over. Create a second round of it. Verse two. And make a chorus like this. gonna make a little simple outro where we're just gonna fade out the beat and there you have it that's literally all it takes to make a beat it can be that easy you don't have to overthink it I think that's one of the biggest things that I've learned when it comes to making beats online is to not overthink it. Keep, keep things simple like this. Leave space for the artist. If you guys like this cookup, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, check out our website, which will be in the description where you can use AI to separate stem files from any song you want. You can upload any song, separate the drums, the pianos, the vocals, the instrumental, do stuff, make remixes, dissect songs, a whole bunch of cool stuff. That link will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching.